Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm sure you You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is a sensitive word. And if by the time you listen to this word halfway through and you don't get a conviction in your heart that this word is for you, you can just scroll past the word. But I've come to pray for someone. I want to pray you into your marital destiny. You see, this is your last month single. This is your last month single. After this month of September, you are going to be in a relationship. After this month of September, you are going to be in your part, in your kingdom spouse's home. You are going to be married to your kingdom spouse. I'm standing on these two particular revelations to make this declaration. The Bible says in the book of Job, it says you shall also decree a thing and it shall be established. Yes. That's what the Bible says in the book of Job. It says you shall also decree a thing and it shall be established. And there is a revelation that God gave me. He told me, he says, the word is the beginning of every manifestation. The word, the word, W-O-R-D, is the beginning of all manifestations. I came to release a word. And because the Bible says I will also decree a thing and it shall be established, I came to release a word. That this month of September will be your last month single. And, and now the Lord just laid this in my heart. Oh, yeah, ba, 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 sha, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He just laid this in my heart. He says, decide what the end will be for you. Because this word will be the beginning. Either you want this year to end with you as in a relationship. Or you want the year to end with you as a married woman or a married man. He said you should decide what the end will be for you. But I'm going to release a word in motion. What you believe for will become your, 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 your end after this word is released. If you're believing God that by the end of this year, you'll be married, so shall it be. If you're believing God that by the end of this year, you will, be just, you will just be in a relationship, so shall it be for you. The Bible says one thing get in his heart and is saved. Another confesses with their mouth and is saved. I came to make this prayer for you. Before I pray for you, let me give you a testimony that would make you believe. I know of this lady. This story was told to me by my by the this story was told to me by the person herself. There was a word that was given to her about her kingdom marriage. All this while she had been in a foreign country. She has been working, she has been dating, but every of those relationships kept ending in pain and tears and pain. And then she said one day she called her sister to talk to her sister. And her sister told her, God says that your husband is here. The day you step foot back into this country, you are going to get married. Your husband is here, not out there where you are. Your husband is here back home. The girl was like, come on, which husband are you talking about? She just waved it and just ignored it. But she kept dating. She was still going out on dates, having boyfriends. She said every of those relationships ended up in pain. That there was one of these guys that she was so convinced it would be her husband. That at the end of the day, the guy also left her. So at the end of the, the, the uh, last year, she realized that she had a certain medical situation. So to do that, that medical uh, uh, procedure out there would have been more expensive. So she made, up, she made up her mind to come do it back home. So she took a flight, came back home in the early months of this year. Earlier this year, she came back home. When she got home now, she went to this her sister's house directly. And her sister just prayed with her. And they picked up her phone and called one guy. No, this guy called her. I think this guy called her sister while they were talking there. 
And this guy said to her sister, when is your sister coming back home? Because I want to get married. And I want to get married to her. I heard rumors like she was coming back home in three days. I want to marry your sister. That was the guy. Who is this guy? This guy is the father of this lady's daughter. She had given birth to a child with this guy 13 years ago. And after she gave birth to a child with this guy, this guy moved on. Had a serious relationship. You know, within that time, she had come to the to, she had come back home to visit. And then she had seen this guy carrying this girl around. So you understand. She was she had lost contact with this guy. They were not in communication. But now, this guy calls the sister there and tells her, when is your sister coming? I heard she should be coming back home in three days. I want to marry her. She just drops the call and they go their separate ways. Takes her sister to the hospital. Remember, she came back home for a medical procedure, right? Takes her sister to the hospital. They start every operation. The guy hears that the girl is in the hospital for an operation. He passes by, does a deposit of about 350000 for the girl's bills, for her bills, right? And then turns to the girl's mother and tells her, I want to marry your daughter now. When he says that, the mother is like, what? Does she know about this? Were you guys in communication? The guy says no. As a matter of fact, I have not spoken to her for the longest time. The mother says, okay, wait for her to wake up from the operation. I cannot make such a decision. The guy says, okay. The girl, the girl wakes up from the operation. That, that's about the, around the month of July this year. This is July 2024. The girl wakes up from the operation. The guy goes to her and tells her, I want to marry you. The girl bursts out in laughter. Marry who? You, 13 years later? And amazingly, the guy was not taking responsibility over his child. He had abandoned the girl, abandoned the child. I mean, he knew the girl was, had given birth to a child. He, he knows the child, but he ignored everything about that family. The girl says, this is a joke. I know you're joking. Don't, 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 pull, don't, don't, don't pull me. Don't, don't, don't carry me uh, on. Don't carry me on with this. The guy says, I'm serious. I want to get married to you this year. Then the girl now, you know, out of, she just said that out of like looking for a way to drive the guy because she thought that the guy was not serious. She said, if you want to get married to me, marry me this August. The guy was like, this August? No, it's a rainy season. The girl said, you see, you're not serious. Just get out. The guy said, you want us to marry this August? The girl said, yes. The guy said, okay, so shall it be. Let's start the preparation. Guess what? They are married. It was just a word that was released. And the moment she stepped foot back home, the word began to manifest. You might be saying that, woman of God, I don't have a boyfriend, but I'm believing God to marry. There is a possibility. Look at another story of a person called Rachel. Or let's talk about Rebecca. Rebecca leaves her house one day to go carry water for her father's animals, just like she always did. But that the difference was that this faithful day was the day that has been scheduled for her divine encounter that will lead to her marriage. She gets to the well, meets a man who was sent by Abraham to go look for a wife for his son. And the whole process starts and this and that. And in less than one week, Rebecca was married. It began from no boyfriend and ended up in marriage. Yes, you might tell me it was different. Those days are different from these days. Who do you believe in? Do you believe in God? Or do you believe in the situation around you? Or do you believe in what your environment has told you? Or do you believe in the word of God? Remember the Bible says this. With God, all things are possible. Yes, what you are believing for is impossible with man. This is impossible with man. This, getting married in the next three months, getting married in the next three months is impossible with man. But with God, all things are possible. If you believe and you want to trust God on this journey, I want to pray for you. 
I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. This month of September is your last month, single. Oh, I pray that person that God has destined for you, that man, that woman, your kingdom partner that the Lord has destined for you, wherever it is, I pray that God will instill in them a sense of urgency to respond to this demand commission over your life in this season. In the name of Jesus, as you believe, you carry your testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Congratulations. I await your testimony. If you land in your heart, you can take a seat and connect yourself to this word. That's one way to walk by faith. And if you have made this prayer and received this prayer, you are going to do me one favor. You are going to begin to prepare for your marriage. A man of faith doesn't need to see it to believe it. A man of faith doesn't need to, to, to feel it to believe it. They believe it because the word said so. Begin to prepare for your marriage. Read books. Stop buying things for single people. Buy things for married people. If you're buying a bed, you must buy a big bed. If you're buying a pot, you must buy a big pot. Right? Stop dressing like a single. Dress responsible. If, you're, if you're, your, your house is not looking good, fix it. You know, there's one thing I'm, I'm doing for myself in this season. My father just said something in church the other day, and I caught it as my personal word. He said, look at your family house. Would you want to carry your husband to be to that kind of a house? When he said that word, I felt like it was a personal instruction. I'm trusting God for finances to relocate my mom and get her to a new place. I'm thanking God for financial blessings to relocate my mom from there to get her into a new place. Because that's my step of faith for my kingdom marriage. Because I cannot take my kingdom spouse to the house where she is now. It's not so good looking. It's not a good place. I want to take her to a good house so that when I bring my husband to be there, he's going to see that my family is good to do. It's going to feel comfortable. It's going to feel comfortable. So maybe you're watching right now, you may want to join me with this project to partner yourself, to, 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 to partner yourself with my action of faith. You can connect yourself, sow a seed, all right? But don't forget, step out in faith. You've made a prayer, God answers prayers, step out in faith. God bless you. Shalom.